Hi everyone, we welcome you here for Java 6 Days Free Time. As you know that this is the 6 Days event wherein we would be co covering all 6 different kinds of topics which is going to help you to create your Swings application. Which is basically an app, it could be like client management system, it could be like hotel management system, you could be able to create library management system. So there are multiple options with the help of these concepts, these database connectivity, making a front end, making or working on over the back end, you would be able to create an application as per your wish. So let me just take you to our day one you know, program. So when it comes uh, to day one, the topic we will be covering is introduction, the components and the designing of the frames using Swings framework. So when it comes, what exactly swings in Java? So it is a part of Java Foundation class, which is lightweight and platform independent. It is used for creating the window-based application, which includes like buttons, scroll bar, text field, password field, etc. So putting together all these components make a graphical user interface. And this process or this concept involved building of application using swings in java so let me take you to the definition so what is swings in java so when it comes as a definition so swings in java is a lightweight gui that is called graphical user interface toolkit which has a wide variety of widgets for building optimized window based application now let me take you to the concept called it as container class, which is actually very useful for us while working over the JFrame concept. Or uh, either you may say that it is beneficial for us to understand this concept if you are making a project. So when it comes as a container class, so the word itself depicting that the container which can contain something inside it. Same here, any class which has other component in it is called as a container class. For building up GUI application, graphical user interface application, at least one container class is necessary. Following are the three types of container classes. One is panel, second is frame, third is dialog. When it comes panel, it is used to organize the components onto a window. When it comes for frame, a fully functioning window with icons and title. When it comes dialog, it's a type of pop-up window, but not fully functional like the frame. So basically, these are the three uh, container type of classes we have. And I will show you today how we create a frame where we would be implementing some other components like JFrame, JTEX fields, etc. So let me take you to the hierarchy, swings class hierarchy. So here, when when I see all the components in swings, like J button, J combo box, J list, J label, are inherited from the J component class, which can be added to the container class. Containers are the window like frame and dialog boxes. So basic swing components are built-in blocks of any GUI application. So basically methods like setting up the layout uh, overrides the default layout in each container and container like JFrame and JDialog can only add a component to itself. That means in, in that particular JFrame I can add JButton, JList, JText. So uh, these, these uh, you can see that here I've mentioned J, uh, J scroll bar, J text field, J list, J label. So these will come under the J component concept, which can be added in the J frame concept. So let me just take you uh, to the practical concept. So let's play and test your skills by designing the login page using the Swing framework. And I would be even telling you about the exam which is going to help you to, uh, you know, get the certificate. So later on, I'll explain you about that or I'll show you the link so that you can go through it and you can get your certificate. So let me just uh, 
I'll open the Apache NetBeans and you will see how we can start up with the practical. So before initiating the Apache NetBeans, I would like to show you the settings where I have to set the path because when you're working, building up the applications using Swing's framework, you need to understand this, that Java JDK 1.8 should be installed in your system. Then only you would be able to perform this kind of practice, right? So give me a minute. So you may see that here, these are system settings. You just need to go to this PC. Right click over that this PC properties here you could find a pop up where we have an option of advanced system settings. Once you click over advanced system settings, you would be able to see this this pop up that is called system properties, which is going to help to set up the JDK 1.8 environment. So when you click on environment variable. So basically, you can see that I have clicked on environment variables. Once I clicked on environment variable, this, this pop-up has been generated where you could see user variable and system variables are there. In that particular user variable as well as system variable, you need to click on path. So you can see that already there are some environment set up in, into this uh, user variable. You just need to click over new and you would be able to set up your own path. You can see that I have saved GC programming files, Java, JDK 1.8. Well, you need to just paste this link over here. In the same way, you need to follow for system variables as well. And you just need to click OK. You need to just click on OK and you would be able to you know, work over Swing framework. So it is very, very important to install Java JDK over here. You can see that we are at Apache NetBeans, that is basically an IDE, that is Integrated Development Environment. Here, you just need to go with File, click on New Project, and you will be able to create Java application. You just need to click on Next, and you can give a name, Day1 underscore Java Bootcamp. Zero one. So I have given this name. Finish. It's up to you. What name you want to give or you have to give, you can give as your own convenience, right? So here you can see that this is called a Java file which we have created, but this is not enough. We are not going to work through code. We are taking a help of dragging and dropping concept. So here you just need to delete this class. I have deleted this class, but I can see that the package is there. So empty package is available. You need to just right click over this package, click new and select the JFrame form. Click over JFrame form and you can give frame one, day one, right? So day one, frame one, that is, it could be, it could be sign up page. So I'm just clicking on finish. So today we will create at the assign it, sign up page with the help of Swing's framework. So let me show you, this is a frame. You can see that the source is available, the design is available. And here you can see that Swing's container, Swing control, properties are available over right hand side, and the project name is here. So in case you require any containers, then you can drag and drop from container option, like panel we have, tap pan, split pan, scroll pan. So we have multiple options, but I am going to teach you and train you how you can, you know, call swings control over your JFrame container. So you just need to first change the layout. You can just right click over this JFrame panel, JFrame form. You can see that there is an option of set layout. And this set layout, will ask you which layout you want to set. So we will go for absolute layout. This absolute layout will help you to, uh, you know, create a design easily or you can place all your components wherever you want. You just need to double click, you just need to click label, drag and drop and put here as a header. Before putting up as a header, you need, you can even change the color of 
this label, the background color, anything. Like it's up to you how you have to change the properties of the component. So basically, if you want, you can click on JFrame. You can go to background color. Change it to, I think, we can keep it white. Foreground color, let's keep it blue. And here I am putting like client management system. I'm selecting this element, putting it in center, and I'm changing the font of this particular text. So we will go font bold and italic it could be 18 or 24 click ok make it 18 i think it would be better let's make it 18 you can even change the color I'll select it again. I'll go to properties here, foreground color. I'll make it blue. Or you can even make it, you can change the color as per your need. Uh, you can make it, let's say, we'll make it blue. Background is already, we have selected white. Let me just check either it is working or not. Yes. So what I'll do, I'll just execute this file and just check it that either it is working or not. Give me a minute. see that the pop-up has generated and where we can see client management system is written right as in header. I'll just close it again. I'll set it in a proper way. Now what I required is I want there should be a form where you can put up your details as a user. So I'll just take and help of label again. Here I'll give full name. Then Email ID, then phone number, then password, Great. So full name, email ID, phone number. I'll just select full elements, entire elements which are there inside the JFrame with the help of control. And I'll change the foreground color of this element. I'll make it green. Right? And I'll make it bold and italic. I'll just change it as per my requirement. I'll extend the size. Now I required a button below this. Uh oh, I need to go back to design button here. I'll just write sign up. I can even change the foreground color of Basically, I have added the green color here again as a text. I'll change bold and italic. Boring, boring, boring. We'll make it easy. And yes, now I am going to add the text field over here. 
it should be empty and you have to be very careful while putting up the name uh, or the fields over here you need to give a name to this field so that it will be very easy for us to catch the values from the specific fields like i have mentioned i have dragged and drop a text field over here i'll right click onto this text field change the variable name so it is very very important to change the name so i i have made it fn that is full name shortcut Again, I need to just drag and drop the, where is that, text field again. I'll just stretch it, remove the name and change the variable name to email ID, it's EI. E -I. I have kept it EI. In the same way, I'm again adding another text field adjacent to phone number. And for password, you need to apply password field so that nobody can see the text. For phone number, I'll just write change variable name PN. And here I'll change the variable name of password to PS. Click OK. Now you can see that we have given the name successfully to my form. Here I have added a button as well. In case you want to change the size of the text of the button, you can do that. I'm changing the background color of these elements. I'll make it, make it, make it, make it like. Great. Let's see either this is reflecting or not. We'll just run the file and see how the output will generate. Wow. Great. So let me put the details in this application that is client management system. So Gia Gdaya. gmail.com Number we can put anything. Password I'm just putting on the So we will not be able to uh, apply an event here because we didn't follow any function and method into this button, or we didn't handle any event function over it. So basically, we have seen how we can successfully uh, create an application or uh, you know JFrame forms using Swings framework to make it dynamic. Uh, I will meet you again in the next week. But before that, I would like to show you something. So basically, in order to qualify for the certificate, you have to appear in this exam. The test link is given here, bit.ly slash day one hyphen java hyphen quiz. So this is going to help you to uh, get the certificate. So exam will be available on the portal till 22nd of September, 2022. After 22nd, this exam will be no longer available on the portal. I hope you have enjoyed my session. Thank you so much. See you in the next week. Take care. Bye-bye.